I don't believe this, but I was afraid that this might happen. Green friends! Our family sold almost everything, including our house in the city, to start a farm in the country. Join us as we share with you our adventures while we discuss farming, fitness, and everything in between. And don't forget, we live in a year too! We are Farm Fit! This has been the wettest, the soggiest, the rainiest year I think that I've ever seen. Especially this fall. Man, I can't believe it. All the rain that we've had on top of two hurricanes. And I'm just tired of push, 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 smushing mud around as I walk around the farm. But uh, it is what it is and we just have to learn to deal with these things. But that doesn't mean we cannot express that I don't like it. So, uh... We finally have a break in the rain. We've had multiple days of a lot of rain around here and it has hindered us from getting some projects done on the farm. I have been wanting to get one to two caterpillar tunnels up so we haven't been able to do that. We're a little over a month behind in doing that. First we weren't able to get our materials and then more rain came so it's hindered us from being able to set it up. Also it's been so cloudy and dark with all the rain and the snow, my solar energizer for this fence here probably needs to be charged again. After the battery gets run down so low and used so much, the solar energizer will actually not charge back up. So what I have to do is take the battery out and actually use the adapter that you plug into the wall to help it get a full charge again so it'll be ready to go in the solar energizer. So we'll have to do that. <clears throat> that on top of the chickens here need to be moved. It's just been so wet and muddy haven't been able to move them. So here this week, we, we're adding a list of things that we need, need to do out on the farm since it's forecasted to be sunnier days. And one of those is moving the chickens to the next area over and so that way they can get in there, work in the leaves, get uh, whatever bugs and things are in there and we'll add some mulch in there too. So at this time of year, the grass is very limited. Uh, so especially with all the rain and the mud that we've had, the mud has just kind of ran over the, a lot of the grass area. So we just have a lot of areas of mud patch. So our work's going to be cut out for, the, for us this winter, helping the chickens and the ducks get the greenery that they need and the vegetation that they need. So we'll do what we have to do. And speaking of the ducks, let's go check on them. out earlier today I normally let them out a little after lunchtime that gives them the chance to lay their eggs they usually lay their eggs early early in the morning and then on to about 9 10 11 depending on the time of year but they were really wanting to get out and play on the pond today and I really wanted them to have a chance to get out and find free range and find some greenery and some vegetation to eat since they haven't had a lot so and we're trying to do that more regularly with it being the colder months and there's not a lot of grass growing and like I said with all the rain and mud so they got their work cut out for them just going around the property and finding finding good grass to eat on so it is what it is and we just have to manage it as best as we can <laughs> Our khaki camels really love being out on the water. Some say Indian runners don't like to swim out on the water, but ours do. But I have found that the Muscovies really don't like being in the water.
This is the area that we bring them to in the evening, just an area where they can be safe and collected inside the electrified fence here. A month or two ago, I think that's about how long it's been, I terraced this, uh, this area with the family and it has done a good job in just making sure there's not an abundance of water just rushing and, and, and making all their mulch and everything go through their area. But I, I didn't expect all the rain that we we're going to have so there was still a lot of mud and water just washing down from the hill up here on down and settling a little bit here and just letting mud go on top of their mulch. So it's almost like you can't tell that we mulched at all. But what I need to do is make a trench here so that way the water does flow a little bit more around their area. But before the rain came, Ben, Fran, and intern helped us mulch this area. Doesn't look like it, but we did. <laughs> And Sailor is our gatekeeper. Whoa. Better watch out. Yes, sir, General. What? Ah. General's being blown away. Ah. Are you okay, General? So even though Ben and I mulched this area not too long ago, I'm gonna need to mulch it again. Uh, someone commented that I basically, when I made this area, I basically made a dam. That's not true. What I did is terrace the land and that is helping us to control the way that water flows on certain areas around our property. As you can see here the water is mostly being diverted and coming along on the outside of the area that I have the ducks and then down on into the pond. We have a little settlement here just because I'm still working on it and I want to build this area up so that way the water can just flow on the outsides of their area. But it's definitely not a dam. Controlling the water flow is one of the reasons I terraced this area. I also did it to make it area, the area flatter so that way it's easier for the animals to be on, it's easier to set up our fence, and you just don't have to worry about sliding and slipping as much if you're on a flat surface opposed to being on a hill. You don't want to get the egg, you're collecting your eggs and then rolling and sliding down the hill. It's not fun. Just the other day, it was snowing here and the temperatures barely made it out of freezing. Yet today, it's gonna to be 60 degrees and I'm warming up so I'm gonna to have to take this hoodie off and this is actually my new hoodie so I don't wanna get it dirty. This is my farm fit hoodie. So we have had pretty good success with selling our farm fit apparel and we decided to extend it ongoing. So you can buy your farm fit gear at any time. Make sure you check the show notes below. But I'm going to go ahead and take this off. And speaking of being warm, just a couple days ago when it was cold, I was giving Ben some lessons on how to split wood. We started off with learning to use the sledgehammer to learn the movement to prep him for learning to use an axe for splitting wood. Now that we are finished with the mulch, we got to teach Ben on here if he can stay focused. The fine art of chopping wood. But first, he must learn to use a sledgehammer. Okay, <laughs> let the lesson begin. There 
Lord, that's how you're supposed to do it. All right, we will begin with a big stump here, and then we will cut this thinner piece here. We'll start with cutting along the outside here. The center is the strongest. There you go. Oh wow, that was cool to see that one on video shoot off way over there. So you remember me talking earlier about it being a trip hazard from falling and that's why I terraced part of it? Well, I was walking on an area that wasn't terraced and what happened? Oh, fell down. So I just decided to become one with the mud. And I thought I was going to be able to do something outside today, but it's just so muddy, it's not even worth trying to work outside in it. So I'm just going to call it a day, go inside, get some work done on the inside. It's a good thing I took off my farm fit shirt because I didn't want to get it all dirty. But I do look kind of weird. So let's see what let's see what the kids think. <laughs> I'm not hurt, so this, I can laugh it off. All right, so what do you say? <laughs> I got a little dirty. <laughs> oh. What do you think about that? <laughs> Michael, look at Daddy's face. <laughs> hey. Go, go. <laughs> Is Daddy dirty? Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna come in. Don't come in my house like that. But I need some help. I'll help you, but don't come in. <laughs> uh, it's like yucky, look at all this. Come join us, Derek the Handyman, Off Grid with Doug and Stacy, and hundreds of other homesteaders in Hannibal, Missouri for the Homesteading Life Conference. Act now to get your advanced tickets at the lowest price. Prices go up January 1st. Don't miss out. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment below, even if it's just to say, hey. Also, make sure you don't miss any of our new videos. So, subscribe and sign up to receive notifications each time we release a new video. Also, you may want to check out these videos right here. And also check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. See you next time. Thank you.